Hello there friends, today's March 19, 2024, and today we're taking a look at a Caleb Williams base autograph from the 2023 Bowman Chrome University. It's card number one. As you can see, we've taken 15 recent comps of this card that have sold through eBay. Only auctions, no best offer, no buy it now. I like to see the bidding process happen. Uh, so through that, we've also extrapolated a few numbers down below, as you can see, which we'll get to in just a moment to help us decide what the card is worth, some offers, as well as what I'd be asking for it if I had it in my collection. Based upon the graph, we've got a pretty steady eddy graph. Uh, 122 is the low, 202 is the high. We're talking less than 100% swing, uh, some outliers there as well. So relatively tight for the type of card that this is. Again, we're doing raw, so people are hunting down perfect looking cards. So keep that in mind when you do use these numbers, always try to find the best card you can find. And that's why I like to use them in person as opposed to buying online, because then I can look at the edges. I can make sure the corners are sharp. I can make sure that the surface isn't scratched. So my suggestion is if you do use these numbers, use them in person and take a hard, hard look at the card. Now, down below, as you can see, we have a, a, num a, a lot of numbers, right? Uh, but there are five primary numbers that are important. We've got the blue, orange, red, yellow, green. I would also say up top here, we've got some important things to consider, especially if you're buying raw, which are the PSA population support uh, submissions. Uh, so 90 of them have been submitted. 54 have come back at a 10. So that's a 60% clip, which is very high, which means for me, I'm getting this card graded if I have it. Uh, beyond that, the blue down below here represents the average bid price that somebody had to make in order to win one of these in auction. That comes to $152.23. Next to that, we've got $4.71. That's the average shipping price. And then we've got $156.94. That is your average all-in price to have it show up at your front door. So, I wouldn't consider these to be fair market value for this card because it doesn't take into consideration that sellers have fees and those fees are generally 13 to 15%. So once you take that right off the top of the blue number here, you get the orange number, which is 131.76. And this is what sellers are taking home on average when they sell this card. This is fair market value in my opinion. I still also like to make some stoplight offers if I'm looking to get this card. Green is a 70% offer of the blue number. That comes to 106.56. Generally, that's my first offer. Yellow is a 75% offer of the blue number. It comes to 114.17. And red is usually my hard stop at an 80% offer. I also like to make sure that I get into the top third or bottom third of sales uh, as far as purchasing a card is concerned. So I drop down five after I sort this column ascending from low to high. So one, two, three, four, five. That brings me to 127.66. So interesting thing about that is that is significantly higher than my 80% hard stop. I still, if I'm looking to get my hands on this card, will be stopping at 121.78. That will stay consistent. Hopefully I can get it lower. I doubt I can get it much lower, especially if I'm looking for a nice card. But in person, you do have a bit more leeway as far as uh, negotiations are concerned. Sometimes people just want to get a card off their hands and move on to the next big, big thing. Now, if I wanted to sell in the top third of sales, that would come uh, five from the bottom there and it would be $136.33. That would net me about a $15 profit on this card if I got it at an 80% price point. And that also equates to $157.50 at a buy it now or first minimum bid when you're selling through eBay. Okay, so that's what I think this card is worth. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of interest in it as we go towards that uh, all important draft that's upcoming here. He'll either be the first or he'll go top five is, is basically the consensus right now. And the market is adjusting to those numbers. I've personally think and hope that the closer we get to the draft, the more interest we'll see in these cards. Uh, but you never know. This is always a gamble. So make sure that if you do invest in his cards, you invest money that you're okay with losing because who knows what could happen. Take care, my friends.